hello hello welcome back welcome to if you're new my name is bria perry and welcome to my channel today we are talking wardrobe essentials for the summer these are my holy girls my staples i have to have them in my wardrobe every single summer some of these items are actually new i newly picked them up because I just wore my old ones to death and I had to get kind of an updated version for this summer. So if you are interested in seeing everything that I got in this video, make sure that you stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have a goal of hitting 50,000 subscribers in 2020 and I know that with your help I can make it happen. So please do me the favor of hitting that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at I am Brie Perry to see all of these items styled in the house of course because we're not going anywhere but I've been getting dressed up just to take photos in these items for you guys. So make sure that you're following me on there as well. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm gonna start with my bottoms and I have some skirts in here and I also have some jeans. So let's start with jeans because they are honestly just my favorite basic. I love good hard denim. I am not somebody that really loves stretchy denim. That's just me. It's just a personal preference, but I like my denim to feel like denim. If I'm gonna wear my leggings, I wear my leggings. And if I'm gonna wear my jeans, I'm gonna wear my jeans. But I'm never one that really wants a cross between. So here I have two pairs of lighter wash denim. These are not super light they're kind of like a medium wash which I personally really like because I can transition them between seasons without feeling like oh these are kind of wintry or these are kind of summery for me what makes these my major summer denim is the distressing on them these jeans right here have some major distressing they have holes in both knees and then they have holes on either thigh and I absolutely love these jeans these are from Gap they're their straight leg jeans in a size 27 and they are a collab that Gap did with um cone denim and they are just amazing they're nice hard denim they have almost no stretch in them which for some people they might not like but I absolutely love because like I said it sucks me in and it makes me feel like I'm wearing jeans um, they have this cute little cuff on them. You can uncuff them, but they came cuffed and I typically wear them cuffed just because it's super flattering. It looks really, really cute with a pair of sandals or even a pair of heeled sandals, sneakers, super versatile. So if I'm going on a trip, I always bring one pair of denim with me, even in the summertime. Um, well, in the summertime, I bring like one pair of denim with me just in case it gets cooler at night or whatever. And these are always my go-to because they're just really flexible. I can dress them up, I can dress them down, and they fit my body really great. If you're looking for a pair that doesn't have as much distressing on it, you might like this pair that I have from Zara. Um, I really like these because they have the cute little brown stamp on the back. For me, that's just kind of like the tell that it's like a hard denim is when it has that really cute little brown part or um, Levi's does this as well. Just harder denim companies, they typically have these on there and I really like that. So this pair is from Zara and they don't have any distressing on the actual legs of them but they do have distressing on the bottom which again I really like this detail looks really really cute with sandals flat sandals or heeled sandals but I think it just falling over it is just really really beautiful in my personal opinion. So the next pair of bottoms that you absolutely have to have in my wardrobe for the summer is a good sturdy pair of cutoffs. And these ones that I have are from Zara. They're very, very comfortable. I have them in a size eight. I usually run between like a six and an eight depending on what it is, but I always size up in my cutoff shorts because I'm not somebody that likes my butt hanging out of them. So I always make sure that I go up a size so that even if it is a little bigger in my waist, I get a little bit of extra length on them. And these ones are nice because the back is a little bit longer than the front. So it kind of just helps to ensure that you're not gonna be hanging out of them. I got these ones last summer, but I'm sure that they have something similar this summer. Actually, I'll show you a pair that I ordered and I ordered up, but they still were way too small for me. They fit me, but they were just too small. 
So I reordered them and ordered them two sizes up and if need be, I'll get them taken in. So I'll show you those even though they don't fit me. I can't put them on for you guys, but I'll show you what they look like. Here are the pair of the other denim shorts that I am returning, but they are a much lighter wash than these ones, if you can see. But they're both really cute. These ones are kind of a nice medium wash and they're a little bit lighter in the middle, which is typically my go-to as you saw with those jeans that I had. But I thought that these were really nice and the color of them was really nice. I like the cutoffs in the front. And usually when I wear shorts like this, I wear them on vacation or sometimes I wear them with longer tunics over them. So you kind of just see like the little bit of the short. But for the most part, I don't usually wear those with like t-shirts or anything because I just kind of like my butt to be covered when I am wearing cut off shorts because they can be so freaking short. But I will show you guys how I typically style shorts like that with a little bit of a longer shirt. Next pair of denim that I have for you guys is white denim. These are a new pair of white denim that I picked up from Levi's. They are the wedgie fit and I have tons of other wedgie fit jeans but none of them were white and I absolutely love them so I had to pick up a white pair. I have a couple other pairs of white jeans that are kind of like a crew or like a creamy color and then I have a pair that has absolutely no distressing on them and they're a little bit more of a slim fit that I wore all summer long last summer to work with blazers and whatnot because I had kind of like a smart casual dress code for work and they were really really cute but these are my staple ones are going to be my staple ones this summer for my own personal wardrobe like my casual wardrobe not necessarily for work or anything but just me you know trying to be cute on my own so these are definitely going to come in handy i'll show them to you guys up close again they have that nice little brown stamp that i was talking about which is honestly my absolute favorite thing and on <laughs> could honestly be why i like hard denim so much because i just like that little touch i got these in a 30 because typically what i have to do with my levi's is get them bigger in the waist so that i have more space in my thighs and in my butt and then i get them taken in on the side so i pick these up in a 30 sometimes i do a 29 typically i do a 29 but they didn't have one and i wanted them so i got them in a 30 instead now let's move on to some other bottoms here i have two little skirts which are both from Macy's. They are from the Danielle Bernstein collection. And these are adorable. I love slip skirts all year round, particularly in the summertime though, because they're just so delicate and so ladylike. And I just always feel super pretty when I wear them. I like to dress these up, dress these down. Sometimes I throw them on with sneakers. Sometimes I throw them on with sandals or heels. It honestly just depends on what the vibe is. But a good slip skirt can bring you from day to night so freaking easily and they're so easy to get wrinkles out of just steam them super quickly so they're really good for packing for trips and whatnot very low maintenance and i really like them this one is a really pretty sage green color which is super on trend this year and this is just a plain black one they both have slits on them so now that we've gone through some of the bottoms let's tap into some of the basic tops that i literally have to have you must have a good white basic two different types you need to have a body this could it doesn't have to be a bodysuit but it does need to be like a strappy kind of basic shirt that you can either you know tuck in you can wear it by itself you can wear it over something excuse me under something you can wear it as a base layer you have to have this and this is my white one I also have this in black it's self-explanatory it's just a black one black and white super basic I got this from BP in a medium and then this is just a little white like it's almost kind of like a wife beater material but it has sleeves and then it has a little cut out right here this looks really cute over bathing suits it also looks really really nice under items and it's just a really good basic it's really easy to throw on with some bike shorts or what have you so this is not necessarily something that I'm gonna wear like to be super dressy but I'm just showing you guys some of my summer basics that are easy to throw on and again easy to bring with you when you're traveling my basics go for wearing something a little bit more dressy or just like actual clothes that are not necessarily like loungewear that little rib shirt is kind of more loungewear to me 
I have this really cute ribbed knit like camisole situation from Zara and this is adorable. It looks really nice over button up. It looks really, really nice by itself, even under blazers. So for me, this is a really great basic to have and something that I would definitely suggest investing in. And I got this in a large. And lastly, for one of my major basics that I have to have all summer long are good graphic tees cute little simple tees this is a cute blue one i have all types of graphic tees white all types of colors um i just started to kind of get a little bit more into like colors with my graphic tees usually i'll get like a white or black tee and whatever it's on it will be kind of color but i picked this one up from zara and it says someone is or will be lucky to have you and it's so freaking adorable it's kind of like a washed out color it looks really cute with jeans and it's just very comfortable and very relaxed and it even looks really cute with trousers depending on what kind of vibe you're going for so i like to just have items like this in my wardrobe to throw on throughout the summer when i don't kind of want to do too much but i want to look like i did a little something with my life but you don't have to have something exactly like this but the category of it I would highly suggest for summer I like to have a really nice kind of statement feminine top I like all types of statement tops so I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different types but having a good top that you can wear very versatilely is gonna definitely help you out during the summer so here I have three kind of more feminine ones. I have something for everybody here, I promise. These are um, kind of more feminine ones. They're floral print. These two are from Zara and this one is from Nasty Gal. This is kind of a more muted green color palette if you're somebody who doesn't, who likes florals but you don't want like a super girly color per se. And then these two are kind of light pastels. This one is, you know, pink with orange and yellow and tons of different colors. And this one is a beautiful little baby blue with some frill on it. So all three of these are great options when somebody says the jeans and a nice top. These are definitely my go-to, you know, whether you're going to a little happy hour or even like a baby shower, things like that. These are really nice options to have throughout the summertime. They're lightweight. Item that I love to have in my wardrobe for the summertime is a cute knit. It can honestly be anything. Right now, the adorable little cardigan matching sets are in where you have the little knitted camisole and then you have a nice little cardigan to go over it. This is one that I picked up from Macy's from the Danielle Bernstein collection and it has these ties in the front and your belly is kind of out right here, which is really cute. I think this would look adorable with a pair of white jeans. I just picked this up but I do have something similar to this which is why I know that I loved it and I decided to get this one because I just thought that it was a really pretty color. For somebody who likes color but you don't like bright colors I think this is a good in between because it's kind of like a terracotta orange so you can do a little color but you're not going to be like wow so out there with the color. For people who might not want a super floral print in your face super girly i think this is a great top because it's still a nice summer color in this really pretty baby pink but it's not overwhelmingly feminine if that makes sense it has these shoulder pads and then it has a really cute little tie here so it's kind of like edgy but feminine at the same time would look adorable with a pair of shorts or any of those jeans that I showed you especially the white ones and maybe a cute little pair of flats or some cute dad sandals I definitely think that this will look amazing another option for a really nice statement top if you're somebody again who wants a nice top but you don't want it to be overly girly this is a adorable top that I got from Topshop it's an organza it's a button up with this really nice pocket and it's very oversized and then it has these ties on the wrist which are really really cute so I highly suggest any of these options if you're looking for a statement top that is not so in your face and then lastly for my tops I have to have a good white top 
top in my wardrobe all year round i love linen tops i wear linen tops all summer long because they're great for the beach they're great for the pool but they're also great to actually wear when you're home and just kind of going with life linen is a great material because it's kind of naturally wrinkled so if you're kind of moving around a lot or you mesh yourself up throughout the summer it's not super obvious that you're like disheveled it just kind of looks how it's supposed to look so you can go ahead and wear it to the cookout and chase your little cousins and all that good stuff without looking completely screwed up when you're done with it but this is just a cute little white top that I picked up from Zara in the springtime. It has these really nice kind of darts right here, which I personally think is gonna look great throughout the summer because it's a little bit more, it shows a little bit more shape and it makes you kind of look like you did a little bit of something i haven't worn worn it tied up but i think that wearing it tied up during the summer is going to look great because this part will poof out and it'll look a little bit more oversized but give you kind of still like a little bit of oomph you won't just look like you're wearing your dad's shirt moving on to dresses my favorite I love a good dress, you all. I have on this adorable little baby doll dress right now, which is from Urban Outfitters. I will try to see if they still have it, but I actually found this dress from Pockets and Bows. Brittany, she is an amazing YouTuber, adorable, the cutest thing in the world. And she had this dress on, and I had seen it before she had it on, but it was sold out. She had it on, posted it, and was like, they're back in stock. And I went to get it, and they were gone again. And then one day, I just just stumbled across Urban Outfitters and they had one in stock in a medium which is my size I absolutely love it I think that baby doll dresses are a great option all year round but particularly in the summer because they're super flattering and they are not super form fitting so they're comfortable sometimes wearing things that are really tight on you during the summer is extremely uncomfortable because it's hot and you're just kind of sweating and it's all just staying on your body but baby doll dresses are a great option because they're flowy they allow you to get some air and you're comfortable at the same time you can move around very comfortably so this is a really great option it's lightweight it's very very comfortable really cute and it's a pretty paisley pink color it has paisleys on it and it's a pretty pink that's what i meant to say i also have this really cute option if you like skater dresses this one is from nasty gal also have this really just absolute stunner i think that everybody needs just like that one like stunner piece for the summertime that you know you can dress up you can dress down and it's kind of like on trend i always like to have one item in my essentials for every single kind of season that's just like an absolute it's like just drop dead just on it and for me it would have to be this orange little cardigan dress set from zara or this super cute just puff sleeve dress from Zara as well. Both of these are really great options for just having that major, it's a staple, but it's a stunner at the same time and you can wear it a ton of different ways within that season. For me in the summertime, it always ends up being a dress because I personally just love dresses. And in the winter time, it always ends up being a coat particularly long line because I love long line coats. If you have been following me, you know that this past winter it was my multicolor plaid coat that was long line. It was absolutely amazing. I got it from Jay Bolin, who is a celebrity stylist. He has an Instagram boutique and I picked it up from him and wore it non-freaking stop all summer. So I'm excited to wear both of these. I think that this would look super cute with a pair of heeled sandals or even some sneakers. I love wearing long dresses like this with my Stan Smith. It's just kind of like my thing. So comfortable, so cute, and it just makes you really look like you did something with your life when you didn't because it was like an already put together outfit. So the last few items that I'm gonna show you guys are shoes. I'm gonna show you guys my have to have shoes for the summertime and particularly this summer one of these items is extremely trendy but I am super into it because I have always been into it and that is the sporty chic ugly sandal trend I picked these ones up from Zara and look at them they are so good 
these freaking sandals are adorable i had my eye on these forever and they sold out so quickly but they are just the cutest thing in the world i have always loved birkenstock been wearing birkenstock since like middle school when it was really uncool and then in high school it turned trendy again when places like j crew and whatever started coming out with metallic ones but i have always loved birkenstocks i've always loved chunky sandals so when these came out on zara i had to have them i have actually been in the process of trying to source myself a pair of chanel dad sandals and a pair slipped right through my fingers i almost had them but i am still on the hunt for them but these are really cute they will look cute with this dress they will look cute with tons of the items that i showed you guys on the rack and i know that these are going to be my go-to chunky sandals for the summer because my Birkenstocks have absolutely had it in there at the end of their life. It's a good flat pair of statement sandals and for me this summer they are going to be these really cute little flat pearl pair that I got from Zara. How cute are these you guys? Look at them. They just scream like adorable they're so cute they're gonna look great with dresses jeans they'll even look cute with really nice little trousers so i am super excited to wear these well, that brings us to the end of today's video i hope that you all enjoyed i hope that you all are thinking about your summer wardrobes for yourself when we can all comfortably go back outside and really enjoy some of this beautiful weather that we're getting in all our various different locations but again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you back and follow me on Instagram so you can see all of these items styled. I love you guys. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.